Okay. <clears throat> no, I'm not gonna I'm never read this up yet. This is a good spot to start. Are we ready to start? Okay. Let's look over all these changes and see about it. The damage ramping up from 10 to 100% over 0.8 seconds thing is going to be real good. Especially if they tick as hard as they used to. Because they used to tick really hard. Flux rifle, damage 22 physical, mostly puncture. Okay, fire rate 12, status chance. Converted to battery with 50 capacity, 1 second recharge delay, and 40 regen rate. So it takes 2 seconds to reload basically, and has unlimited ammo. Adds some base punch through. And then it uses 0.5 ammo per second? I don't know what the 0.5 ammo requirement is exactly. Just like that's how much it takes to start firing, I suppose? That's interesting. Introducing the Psychron to seeing your thoughts to improve battery-based ammunition. Adding... Huh. Okay. That's interesting. That's a way to go. That's, like, that's weird, but I'm into it. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. The Ignis, 150, 750, 20 meter range. Ooh, the beam thickness. Okay. Three meters at its end point. Is it, is it three meters at its end point already? Flynn raid? Oh, is Flynn here? Yo, what up, everybody? I still feel like this music is too loud. Is that just me? I think I turned it up, unlike myself. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Flynn, thank you for the host. What up, dude? Welcome, everybody. What is that? What is the fucking sausage emote? Ha! <laughs> Squeak. Oh, my God. Music is a bit loud. Okay, I'm going to turn it down even more. I'm gonna make it real quiet, like. Okay. So yeah, the Ignis, it'll probably stay mostly the same. Th this thing, like, the status chance change is what's gonna matter for, like, the actual tick rate. No real changes need to actually happen here. Quanta... It's, uh, it's really fucking shitty that they didn't say this to this. One second. I need to open the wiki so that I can actually do comparisons myself. Okay, one second. Let me see what the Ignis is actually being changed to. Okay, so let's go back up to the Ignis and then I can do some comparisons. Uh, crit is 5%, so it's going up by 6, which is, that's good. And in terms of status chance, it was 25% per second, and now it's going to be 27%. So that's an increase there. And in terms of fire rate... Its fire rate went down to 8 from 10. And its range limit... Oh, what the fuck? Its range li Wow, it lost half of its fucking range? Dude, what? The Ignis lost half its range. That's like a lot to lose. Flame passes through all avatars, damaging them, but will now be stopped by level geometry and require punch-through mods to penetrate walls. Ooh. That's a huge Ignis nerf. That's a gigantic Ignis nerf. Like, for low level clear, that's a mega nerf. And also for box breaking, too. That's a super huge nerf. Let me look at the Flux Rifle's initial range. Uh, the Flux Rifle got five more meters of range, and its fire rate went up by two. These are all, these are all increases for the Flux Rifle. Yeah, the Flux Rifle is all, wait. It lowered its status chance by 1%, what is that? And gave it 5% more crit chance. Why? That's, whatever. That's probably fine. They gave it punch through, I'm sure it's K. Yeah, the Flux Rifle improves from this, I'm sure. But the Ignis seems like it's in a bad way. That's that's a big boy nerf. Yeah, it's it's five more meters of range on the flux rifle. The Ignis, ooh, 
that's some ouch is basically what's up with that let's look at the quanta okay quanta comparisons i really wish there were comparisons so i didn't have to do this like manually okay so 20 electricity base damage what 20 electricity is that hold on let me back up to the ignis or the flux rifle flux rifle is total damage 22 and this is 22 the quanta is 20, 20 electricity hold on let me go forward here I'm sorry, but the Quanta has 200 normally. I'm a, I'm gonna say that's a, yeah, that's a typo, right? That should say 220 though, because if that, mm, if that that should probably say 220. I'm gonna say that's probably a typo. I'm a, I'm a just, if that's not a typo, that's really bad. <laughs> It went from 1 to 12? Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, never mind. Never mind. That's actually fine, then. It's the same, then. It's just way more fire rate, way less damage, which ends up being the same. And then it got 6% more status chance and crit. And it got 0.2 more critical damage. Magazine capacity and such. Uh... Da -da -da -da. Where's the magazine capacity on this? 540. Oh, that's the same. Okay, range. It got a 10 meter range nerf, which I guess is okay. I guess that's fine. Old fire explosion radius, 6 meters, which is not listed. It's not listed on the wiki what the actual explosion range is. I'm sure that's probably exactly what it is right now. Alt fire explosion damage got tripled. Um. So that's really good. And this this 600 is actually probably going to be what it is if it is not detonated um, manually. If It's probably if this detonation is by hitting an enemy. So that'll be higher if you detonate it yourself, which is how the Quanta works. So that could be potentially very good. This is going to go up on YouTube rank. All right, Galaxion, this is important. This is muy importante. All right, let's, let's check these Galax stats. Quanta is a launcher now. I mean, kinda. It's kinda always been that, though. Oh, the Ignis Wraith. We're gonna get, we're gonna get to you in a second, Ignis Wraith. All right, range. Same range. Figured I'd check that first. Galaxion had okay range. Yeah, thirty-four percent status is probably gonna be pretty fucking hype. That's that's. It was at thirty-five percent, but they're making it so status is good on beam weapons, so that's fine. And crit chance went up three percent, which isn't gonna matter. Uh, reload time got increased. What? Reload time got nerfed by 0.7 seconds, which seems really unnecessary. And it now does twenty-six freeze. What? Okay, so it used to, or does now, 16 freeze at 20 rounds per second. But now it's going to do 26 at 12. That status better help this bitch out, because otherwise that doesn't look very good. If that, if that, that status better carry the Glaxion or else I don't think that's enough. That status is going to have to carry the Galaxion on its back. Like, all the way to the bank. Because that's Master Rank fucking 8. That's trying to compete with, like, the Soma and the Stradivar and shit. Better am ammo economy. I mean, that's true. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Look at the Ignis. Ignis, well, the Ignis Wraith. So, yeah, this will be interesting. Ignis and the Wraith version. Okay, its MR is going up by three, which is not a big deal. The range is getting ducked by 13 meters. 13 meters less range on this. That seems super unnecessary. And it's, well, its crit multiplier is getting a 0.5 bump. That's solid. 
5% more crit chance. And uh, the status chance got reduced by 1%, which is just a weird thing. Urkris, thank you for resubbing. I appreciate it. Magazine-wise, it seems to be exactly the same. And damage-wise, we're talking 10 more damage with slightly less fire rate. Okay. Man, that's a big old range. I feel like... Everything heat based is getting a lot less range. Is anybody else feeling that? Ember got a lot less range. The Ignis series getting a lot less range. Fire is apparently not supposed to go that far. I'm, I'm just saying, that's what I'm observing currently. But yeah, the status on the Ignis Wraith will probably be quite good whenever the changes hit, uh, for sure. And that crit is going to carry it really far. Like, this weapon will definitely still be good on the back of this crit chance at the very fucking least. And then the, oh, the Convectrix. Okay, so it's really easy for me to look at the Convectrix and go, this weapon gonna be shit still, because it's the way that you shoot it is fucking awful. But let's at least compare. Chroma hacked the system and got more range. They say the range thing in the general notes. Like, I know, but still. The fire isn't spreading. <laughs> Alright, range limit. It got five more range. And let's see here. 18% crit chance. So it got eight more of that. It got a little more crit damage. It went up 0. 0.2. And status chance. Why is status chance not listed here? Oh, there it is. 25%. It got minus 1%. Weird. Uh, fire rate is 12, which is four times what it was, but it also does 24 damage, which is more than a, like, it's less than a fourth of what it was. So, let's say I'm just, let's say I'm not holding out hope the Convectrix will be anything after this. Like, beam weapons used to, beam weapons used to be kings, it's true. So I'm, like, reserving a little bit of judgment, because the Convectrix is 80% slash. It is 80% slash. It, it, there's, the status chance is 24%. There is a potential for a, a dirty thing to happen with the Convectrix. Yeah, beam weapons, well, they ramp up their damage over like less than a second, Paradise. Holy shit, the synapse though. Okay, one second. That comparison's gonna be favorable. Unless the Synapse has way more range than I thought. Oh yeah, that's going to be really good for the Synapse. Okay, 18 Corrosive. Wait, Corrosive? It's Electric purely by default. That's a buff. Because then you can go Corrosive fucking Viral. That's going to be fucking dope. Okay, and then... Well, oh no, never mind. I was way overestimating what the base stats of that are. Okay, so here's the thing. The Synapse went down 11% critical chance. However, it got the much more important increase of 0.7 critical damage. So, there's that. And also got 3% more status chance, which is going to matter a lot. Hmm. And fire rate wise, it went up. And it got more damage. This is going to be better. And it got more range. It got three more meters of range. Yeah, this will end up... Okay, so I know this is less consistency for critical chance, but that doesn't matter as much as this is a 2.7 critical damage multiplier. So th this is going to be gross, actually. Like, this is MR11. This is actually going to be disgusting. That's actually going to be super gross. That's actually going to be, like, mega gross. Alright, let's see about the beloved Amprex, one of the only good beam weapons that exist. Alright, Amprex. Range limit. It lost four meters of range, so we're off to a smashing start right now. We're off to a real good one. Uh, it's got... Really? What's the fire rate? Okay, the fire rate went down eight. But it got its damage multiplied by a little over three. Or wait, no. Yeah, a little over three. So th that's okay. Critical damage multiplier up. Critical chance down by fucking 18%. 
status chance is up by 2%. So that's less consistency, but technically more damage. But that less range is gonna fucking destroy this weapon. Like, the Amprex already kind of was requiring an increase to range mod. So, like, the Amprex will still be usable. It'll still be a thing that exists. Like, it'll be fine. And, like, the status chance is gonna be nice. That'll be a thing. So, the thing that you're gonna be getting out of this weapon is that this weapon can be purely corrosive. So, with the status fix, armor doesn't exist on enemies, so the damage should be significantly higher. Maybe it will be good? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Alright, let's look at the Quanta Vandal. The Quanta Vandal needs to be good because it's currently the best of the beam weapons. Still Chain Lightning, yeah. Okay. So, Quanta Vandal. Interesting, an MR isn't listed. I'm gonna guess this is MR12. I'm gonna guess the Quanta Vandal would be MR12. Damage-wise, it's the same fire rate thing as before, although this did get a damage hike in terms of just the math with that. Um, status chance... went up by 5%, and also, of course, the fix. Critical chance got up by 12%, 0. 0.4 more critical damage, and it kept its range. And its reload... went down. So that's just good. It we got slightly less magazine capacity. You got 10 less magazine capacity and 20 less overall capacity. Weird. That's fine though. That'll that is a significant bump up in strength for the Quanta Vandal, which was already quite good. So this will this will continue to be very, very good. Maybe the best. Potentially. Uh, and then we have the phage. So the phage is. The phage is going to be really helped by this because it's purely viral. Am I right? Right? Am I thinking of the right weapon? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is this is the tentacle gun for those that are not aware. So 330, 12 instead of one per second. So that yeah, that maths out to about correct. Status chance is going up by a little over double, and then combine that with the beam fixes. So this thing's going to fucking put viral on anyone that exists. Then crit chance wise, it is getting a 9% hike. And it has 2x crit multiplier. This thing uses shotgun mods. So there's gonna be some stuff there, potentially. It has like a lot of tentacles. And I think they can all crit individually. I don't remember. I don't remember if each tentacle can crit individually. And range wise, it did not change at all. There's some potential for that. I could see that. Age of the Phage has come. Potentially. Alright, secondary-wise. Gamma Core. Yeah, I'm gonna bet the Gamma Core is still garbage. I mean, it. to be fair, like, the Gamma Core is gonna still be, like, a fucking MR0 weapon. It's gonna be garbage no matter what. Just because of where it is. Like, it's MR2. Like, you know. Uh, status got multiplied by four, however. <laughs> and I got some more crit. I got some more critical damage. Its reload is... Slightly better? Range-wise, it lost a meter, which seems... Weird. Uh, and then 16 mag. Like, the biggest problem with this weapon is just fucking magnetic damage. And it got about... Yeah, it's about this... Wait, what? It's less damage overall up front. But it got the crit stats, so I guess it's kind of the same. Yeah, so the Gamma Core is not really going to make a lot of difference one way or the other. The Atomos, this is very important that this weapon doesn't get nerfed because it was, like, pretty okay. Like, it was okay at, like, shitty like shitty enemy clear. So, it'd be nice if this didn't get nerfed. I'd appreciate that, personally. Uh, so, we got Fire Rate of 8, which is an increase. Damage-wise, it does 29, 29 fire, did 50. Eh, that's okay. Uh, it's crits got tripled, plus getting the critical damage up, and then status chance went more than doubled, and it has the same range. So the Atomos will probably be really solid, because this connects to, like, all the enemies. That's gonna be pretty good overall. 
The new core, I hope, is hilarious. Because the new core has always been a meme weapon. Because the new core is a thing that you justify bringing a cat for the meme. Because it has an insane um, crit multiplier of fucking four. Fucking four crit multiplier. Uh, so that's going to be quite good. But it has 1% crit chance. It got 2% more. Amazing. So that's going to be okay. And range-wise, it got one more meter. I guess this one stole that meter. I guess that's what's up. Yeah, but that's why you... If you bring a cat with this weapon, you get like 60% crit chance. With a 4x multiplier, is actually good. Which is like... It, it's the meme, because it's not actually worth using. Or use Harrow. Yes, that's true. Or you can bring Harrow, and then the new horror does some gross shit. And if, if this thing is going to be buffed to the point where its status is good, and it does have 29% status, there might be some shit to do in certain weird builds with this. I, I could see it working out. Like, the fire rate got doubled, and the damage got lowered by 10. So it got more damage overall. Okay, so the, the memes... The memes are not dreams, I guess. They they didn't they didn't fuck that one up. It didn't seem like it got a ton better, but obviously, like the big thing with this is it's not like the other rebalances because they're changing the mechanic of beam. So this is gonna require more like actual testing to really know. The Spectra got its MR tripled, so this better be good, first of all. 18 physical damage, it did 30 before. But its fire rate is 12 now, and its fire rate before was 5, so it's like basically the same. Status chance. Up by 2%. Amazing. Uh, and then 9% more crit chance. Reload is slightly faster. 16 meter range, so I got one more meter. Amazing. I, I doubt the Spectra will be any good. Now the Psychron, however... Regen delay, one second, rate 40, so it takes a little over a second to recharge, but it takes a second to start. So it takes, like, almost three seconds for this weapon to be at full capacity again. Okay, that's... That's gonna be a thing. Well, that uh, that's an immediate downside. The delay on charging is always the killer. Alright, let's see where this damage ends up, though. All right, damage is lowered to 23, but the fire rate goes up to 12, which is about the same. Status chance is the same, but it's going to be the fixed status. And then 7% more crit, a little bit more crit damage, definitely not worth using. Also, yeah, no longer a heat weapon. Oh, it's 50% radiation. Okay, that's significantly better. Yeah, that, yeah. having radiation at base is good, because then you can go, like, corrosive radiation. Well, yeah, radiation's the weird one. You get more damage on alloy heavies, at least. So I guess there's that. Regular, did thank I you for subbing. I appreciate it. All right. The, the embolus will be interesting. Basically a COP shooter. Yeah, pretty much. All right, the Embolus fire rate goes up to eight, or sorry, down to eight, and it gets about double damage. Okay, lost a third of its fire rate, double damage. That, that maths, that's an increase. That's good. Status chance is 41%, so that's a lot of status. That is 31% more, and it's going to be fixed. Crit chance is basically nothing, and will remain basically nothing. The reload is slightly faster, and the range is up by 3 meters, so that's a bonus. Eh. Eh. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. It's MR9. I don't know. Poison damage, yeah. You can make it pure corrosive. If you really wanted to strip armor. Eh. Yeah. And the Synoid Gamma Core. Let's, let's check this one out. This is actually pretty important because it's a weapon that can give energy.
Yeah, it's a more deadly park gun. That's a good way to put it, actually. Oh, this one's match rank went up one. Oh, boy. All right. Range went up by five. I guess that's fine. Magazine went down to 80 and it's 400 in capacity. Okay, so it's magazine got smaller. I guess that's okay. What about this fire rate? No fire rate change? has 15 fire rate. And it is less damage. More status chance. 20% crit. Hmm. If the Synod Gamma Court uses sufficiently less ammo, because it's it's hugest, its biggest problem at current is that it uses a million goddamn ammo. Um Maybe it'll be usable, mostly because of the energy proc. I could see it. That'll this one this one in specific will need a lot of testing. That 20% critical chance might be enough to save it because it is a secondary and there are there are primed secondary mods. The Galaxian is on this list. Yeah, these seem like this seems like absolutely every single one of these changes rides on like this shit. Like them fixing it to be like how it used to be and being very good. Yeah. The Simulor? The Simulor is not a beam weapon. You like 10 seconds of fire with the 0.5 ammo requirement? Yeah. I miss Wraith God's here now. It'll improve, but it also lost like fucking 13 meters of range. That's a lot to lose. That's a lot to lose. And you're gonna have to build punch through on it to get it to go through walls and shit, which is actually a big thing. The Flux Rifle? Yeah, the Flux Rifle was like right off the top. The Flux Rifle is definitely gonna be sufficiently better. It being a battery weapon is interesting to me. That'll be a weird one. Ignis sucks as a box opener now. Yeah, that's the big problem. Honestly, I wish they'd introduce a melee weapon that was like, damages all objects within 50 meters, but only objects, not enemies. Like, just give us an actual box opener weapon, because people would really appreciate that. Make it MR fucking 18. Don't care. It, everything about it is shit, except for it opens any container. That's all we actually want. I'd use that all the time. Yeah, that would be a good melee weapon to add. Yeah, sh yeah, Prime Shred is probably an auto-include on the Ignis, I'd agree. Also, the Ignis can't cheese the Kelephite now. The Kelephite was never hard. Make it key-shaped. Oh, man. Wait, there's a Prime Shred? Yes, there is. She found a purpose. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I guess that's what's up with this. I wonder how much of an impact this will have. Obviously, I will need to test them all. I think the Flux Rifle will actually be in a position... Because there's no MR requirement change listed here. So if we look at the Flux Rifle again, which is the weapon that used to be, like, fucking top shit. Like, the Flux Rifle used to be, like, straight up broken, though. The weird- the shittiest thing about this is they're changing the damage type to be garbage. Like, it's 80% slash right now, which is part of why it was so goddamn good before. Because you would proc slash all the time, and slash was fucking really good then, too. Hmm. Watch Rifle was literally an automatic Tigrish Prime, basically. Hmm. There, there's a potential here. TLDR and the Amprax. The Amprax is going to be better overall, I think. I, I mean, overall, all of these are going to be better just because of the change that's happening to all of them, which is outlined up here. Which is them going back to their natural state as actually good weapons instead of dog shit. So, 
the, I, I feel like these are a lot harder to evaluate than like changes to the Gricadas and stuff because it's just going to be such a different thing. You know what I mean? The Convectrix has a weird amount of potential. And this weapon is fucking terrible right now. What does a Convectrix take to build? Let me look right now. I like the Convectrix has potential because it is goddamn 80% slash. Out of the mechanic it used to work, it would touch an enemy and then start doing a fuckload of tick damage. Field run. Five field run, ten control modules, nine hundred oxium, and a forma. Oh boy, this, be this weapon better be good. Like for those requirements, an MR7. I wonder if this 24 physical damage is per beam. If this 24 physical damage is misleading and this is per beam on the Convectrix, there might be some shit happening with the Convectrix. I could, I could see it. There's some potential. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, the Convectrix also uses shotgun mods. That's true. Which does help it a lot, actually. Especially at MR7. Because then you're not maxing a serration, you're maxing a point blank, which is a lot fucking easier. Hmm. Maybe he'll multi shot will work on these things. We'll just add more beam or damage. But yeah, there's. There is potential. Also, I love this note. Since introducing the Psychron and seeing your thoughts, which I think are universally, the Psychron is garbage. We've improved the battery base ammunition. <laughs> like, I don't think I've seen a single person say anything good about the Psychron and how it's just an Arcwing weapon ever. I don't think I've seen anyone react positively to that other than, I mean, in theory, that's a good idea. What happened to the Quanta Vandal? The Quanta Vandal got all improvements. That's going to be quite good. That might still be the best beam weapon, like, just going into the future. That, that'll that probably be real fucking solid. I, I'm I'm going to... I'm going to wait on the side of the Quanta Vandal will be very good. It has guaranteed heat procs, and it's great for Saren if you have literally no other weapons. <laughs> Shoot it for four seconds, reload in five to the yell. Mechanic, thank you for resetting. I appreciate it. There are people who unironically think the Psychron is good and they use some of the silliest reasoning. Oh, like it has unlimited ammo. That's the one that I love the most. It has unlimited ammo that doesn't kill anything, so I never run out. Yeah, uh, do Sir, are you aware what ammo is for? Phage. Phage seemed like it was getting some interesting things. New Psychron with additive for chance from cat slash arrow. I think you mean new core. I think you misspelled new core there. But yeah, this this will be interesting. I, I'm excited to see how that's going to go. Because beam weapons used to be the best. But yeah. Anyway, uh, let's get back to proper Warframe Arising. Uh, that will go up as a highlight on YouTube later. For anyone that missed it and wants to see.